you know, YouTube. Um, I don't know if you like me, um, but say so sometimes here and this fast growing um, sport hobby is coming up with these drones. Now, I bought myself a Hobson. It's the X4 uh, H501S. And it's a great little drone. Um, I absolutely love it. The, the few times I've uh, powered it up and given it some flight so far have been really, really nice. And there's all sorts of experiments I'm going to do with it, and I'll go over that in a different video. And there's some modifications I'm going to make to the handset, and, and I'll go over that as well. But there's just something I wanted to, um, to let you know because it was something that I found I wish I'd have known um, before I bought it. Okay? And it may only apply to this firmware. The firmware that is in here is the stock firmware. Uh, and it is version 1.1.9. Now, I am, I've am i just been given the link off a YouTuber to get the up-to-date firmware. But I'm going to tell you what I found is a bit of a problem with this for me. It may not be a problem for most of you, but for me... Um, it's just been, I would like to have had this option. And for anybody else that may just go and buy one of these thinking, oh yeah, great. Um, you may think not having this option might just um, make you think twice about how you first take this out of the box and power it up. And, this, is um, the problem. this is the problem with this. Uh, and it's okay for those who have been flying for quite a while and don't mind just jumping into the deep end of the pool and you know they're okay but for those that have not got that um, long term experience or anything like that and you want to go just a little bit gentle get the feel of everything it would be nice to have what's actually built into this and what you've got built into this is I hope you can see what I can see here if I pull that back a bit maybe I'll give it some extra light I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get this to work I hope you can see it. And what we got here is we got a um, um, reverse sensitivity frequency manual version exit. Right? So we're going to get out to sensitivity, and it's preset all the time in expert mode. Okay, and so that's all good if you want full hundred percent on everything. And I'll show you now. I'll show you. I'll show you the uh, what happens here. Okay, so right. So to turn this on, to get these uh, propellers moving, what we've got to do is just uh, pull these two down. Oh, let me just get that right. Get the fingers out of the way. And off it goes, yeah. Not a problem. Beautiful, that is, isn't it? Beautiful. And to shut it off again, just do that and hold it down. I'm supposed to be able to do that and hold it down. Okay, that's just me not quite, so I've got my hands at a funny angle and everything. Do that and pull it down. So, not a problem in expert mode. But then, if you go back into your menu, oh, let's turn that, follow me off. Go back into the, uh, no, it's, let me, yeah, I've got to do this with my hands like this because it's, uh, we don't want it following me around. So, I'm just going to pull the stick down to the bottom. I'm going to press that in and hold it. There we go. So if I go back to the sensitivity and then switch that to normal mode, which is only 60%, you know, 60% rudder, 60% roll, 60% everything. Yeah. So if we go into there and then go back up and exit that, exit. Now, when you go and switch on, it just doesn't work. It will not have it. Now, I thought this was me. I did near enough an entire battery thinking it was me. Thinking, well, oh, you're stupid. Why, why, why can't you get this? It's so easy to see in the manual. Why can't you do it? And so I went back to expert mode, did it, and boom, it just worked. And I'll show you again, look. Okay? You just pull them down to the bottom right. Bottom right and bottom left. Okay, so now I'll go back. Uh, back to sensitivity. Back to expert mode. Exit. Exit. Okay, and I'm going to 
This time I'm going to do it with my hands around here so I can actually just pull it down without getting clipped by the uh, getting clipped by the uh, ready thing. So, oh, that's going to make me have to be alive. There you go. It's a lot easier. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just getting used to it. But basically, you can just put it down and just roll it slightly, and it'll come on. But it doesn't work. And roll it. And roll it. <laughs> I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. Um, it doesn't work in normal mode. Look, I'm already another bar down on the receiver. it does have some assist, the GPS and everything else, but in normal mode with the GPS and everything else it would be a nice subtle um, flight. So, just to bear that in mind. Thanks for watching.